Hey team, this is Luke with Crusader Machining, back for another excellent video. Do you want to see what I do, the steps I take to go from machine powered off all the way to getting that machine up and running for production? Not a setup, just getting it ready for production or what we call RFP. If you want to see it, let's rock and roll. Let's head over and turn this breaker on, get this puppy ready to roll. Now we're gonna turn that control on, release that e-stop, reset that program, head to the bar feed, we gotta reset that alarm as well, get it ready for auto, program reset, I don't know why that other alarm program popped up again, reset. edit, program Memory. reset. Now I like to go to make sure at the beginning of the run, I got plenty of bars to feed the magazine. Last thing I want to do is be running and run out of bars. Four or five of them should be good for the whole shift. Now we got to check for any worn tools. No chips, no problem. Our first part of production should pop out here momentarily, and then we're gonna spot check that. You ready for production? Come on, come on, come on. There she is. We're gonna do a quick spot check based on the print. Check our thread major. We got a critical diameter in the back. We're bueno. Check our thread gauges. All the way up to the shoulder, which is what we want. And I already gave it a visual inspection. It's one of the first things I do. Check it visually. Thread's good. Check one more time that critical. Check our milled hex. 375, it's a part, simple little part. Looking good. Now that we know our first part is good, one last check, oil level is fine, no chips, tools look good. Continuous button, program at the beginning, cycle start at 100. Now we are on production. We're gonna go through and do a more detailed, more uh, scrutinizing check now. But well, we're rocking and rolling. <laughs> 